Stop gawking. He'll think you fancy him back. I just don't get why David's fallen over himself all of a sudden. Hard up for mates, I guess. Moira's leaving. Well, why didn't she tell us? Don't want a fuss. And then he turned up, and it obviously didn't go well by the look of him. Oh, hang on, I can smell something. Oh, yeah, classic attention-seeking. No, she doesn't need anybody's attention. She needs to get away for a bit of peace. Well, she's coming back, right? Not sure. Of course she's coming back. Look at that pathetic specimen over there. This is all for his benefit. Mum, she doesn't play games like that. There's obviously more to it. What? This is on the house. There'll be a thousand other Myras. Yes, and let that be a warning to you, eh? Mother. Well, come on, surely he's had his fill of this Scottish misery by now. She's impossible to make happy. Everyone can see that. Nice one, Mum. Well, he'll thank me for this one day, won't he? Right then, Vic. Get your lips around these bad boys. No? Anybody else? Oh, all right. I'm having a cream puff. Oh, and I've got the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. This is perfect, Laurel. Thanks for sorting it. Uh, uh, the little help from our friends. Well, it's not quite how I imagined. <laughs> what are you on about? Top scrap? Listen, for a vicar in the Yorkshire Dales, it doesn't get much better than this. Ex-vicar, I should say. Mm. What? You know what? The deed is done, Laurel. I resigned. We've been over this. We just want you to be honest with yourself. I am being honest. I've made a decision. And believe me, after some of the decisions I've made recently, this is by far one of the better ones. Well, we won't be getting better than you. With respect, you... Uh... You don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Oh. Harriet! <laughs> well, I, don't, I won't need all three darts. I'm going to get it. You watch. No! Oh, Shame! <laughs> oh, God, he loves himself, him, doesn't he? Mm, doesn't he just? He's winding Tracy right up. <laughs> He's giving me some uh, top tips on my meeting with a bank. Yeah, I told you that conference would come in. Seriously, where did you find him? In a skip. <laughs> Same skip as I met her. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling you trash. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it. Game over. Wasting a time. I mean, look at him. He's gone into shutdown, hasn't he? Dad. I asked her uh, <laughs> to meet me at the bridge, five o'clock. And if she's there, then. Wow. You said that. She won't be there. She's told me. Right. So you're not going to go either. Dad, you have to. You love her, don't you? Desperately. I've never stopped. Well, there you go, then. And even if she's not there, you still have to go for yourself. If she can't meet you, then... Well, then you'll know, won't you? All by myself, don't want to be... Charity! I'm just a joke to you, lot, aren't I? What are you playing at? Just having a bit of fun and lightening the mood. Oh, you were pressing his buttons. He's this close to losing it. Right, you and me are going to sort this out now, once and for all. Who is me? Yes, you! Get your keys! <sighs> <sighs> One shiny flash motor delivered straight to your door. Yeah, cheers, Ross. Um, I'm just... Oh, don't worry about it. Pay me later. Am I, uh, still taking you to that meeting later on, or what? Actually, something's come up. Um, we might have to rearrange. Just give me a second. You do know you're running late for that lunch appointment. I did tell him. Yeah. Can you ring ahead? Cancel. Make my apologies. Jimmy, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I called you up, but uh, now is not a good time. I don't care. I want out. What? I saw Lisa earlier. She broke my heart. I can't do this job anymore. It's not me. It, it's over. Well, just, just calm down. Just 
Take a second. Right then. Uh, cheerio, old chaps. Yeah, cheers, Ross. Um, I'll call you. Monk. Debs? Can't find him anywhere. Start at the garage and he's not at home. If he's done anything stupid, I'm blaming you. Well, hey, don't blame me. He can mess up his own life without my help. <sighs> Have you checked the bridge? Yeah, not there. And his car's gone. Well, he's not up here. Has she gone already? Well, there's no sign of her, but a, a car's still here. Right, OK, well, I want you to go in, have a word and... Do not mess this up and be nice. Debs, these are grown adults. Let them get on with it. Just do it. <sighs> Got my own sad little life to lead, thank you very much. <sighs> Joke. Jimmy, none of this makes any sense. I'm sorry. I'm done. Don't we deserve an explanation? I just... I don't like being the bad guy. I'm a people pleaser. You're not pleasing us? Everyone's got it in for me, and when I saw Lisa, it just brought it home. This is their life. There is no room in business for sentimentality. But it's my life too. I have to live here. These people, they were my friends. It's a question of more money. It's not the money. It's game over. I quit. No, it doesn't. Yes, I do. Jimmy. Fine. If that's how you feel, <sighs> you're wasting my time. Excuse me. Right, lady. You know how I feel about this stinking farm, so you better start talking. Go away, Charity. Go away, Charity. Do you mind? I'm actually trying to have a private moment here. All right, well, sorry for crashing it, but, you know, timing's never been my strong point. Can you just go, please? No! Because apparently you're doing a moonlight flit in broad daylight, and Debs will not be happy if I let you go. I mean, can you believe she's even blaming me for all of this? For what? I've upset Kane, haven't I? So she's gone after him, because apparently now he's gone AWOL. And all this on account of some grumpy Scottish farmer who can't see past her own pride and be with a man she loves. I don't love him. And what do you mean he's gone here, Wall? So you do care. Right, I'm going to give you a moment, OK? It's OK. Look, I just... I need to get away. And it's no-one else's business why or what I do or where I go. Well, actually, it is our business because we've got to live with the Goblin K, don't we? It's like a broken ape in a zoo. All sad eyes and far away. He's not my problem. You know, Chaz reckons he'll be bad for business if you go. And she'll blame you for that as well. And, you know, you don't want to get on the wrong side of her, do you? Why are you even bothered about what I do? You hate it every day when he was with me. Not every day I didn't. Anyway, Debs has given me strict instructions to get this sorted. I'm over it, Charity. I'm over all of it. Him, him and Harriet, you and him, me and him. <laughs> I'm done. Well, me and him are definitely done. OK, I might not have liked you and him at the start, but yes, I can see why it worked. Personally, I never got the whole vicar thing. You love the bones of him. I can smell it a mile off. Everyone can. Love wasn't enough before, was it? And there's just something about me and him that doesn't work. Well, there's something about him and everyone that doesn't work. The difference with you two is he adores you. And you're under his skin, Moira, big time. <laughs> yeah, but... And you... Do you know what? You're running out of butt. You still love him, end of. You know, I couldn't have gone through a single day what you've gone through. <sighs> I need to get going. No, you need to start running away from your life. Moira, it's OK to feel a bit of happiness again. No-one's going to be judging you for that. And if there's the slightest chance... There isn't. But thanks for your concern. Sorry about that there, 
there, but we just wanted to make sure that you were doing the right thing. I heard you all again. This is hard enough as it is. Do you think with Moira leaving, maybe... No, no, it's over, Laurel. He never wanted me like he wanted her. I was never enough. Well, I wish we were enough. The flock. Sorry. It's me that's not good enough for you. I've done some shocking things, Laurel, and I can't get past it, so... This is best for everyone. Okay, well, I'm not going to ask or pry. I mean, I'm the last person, but what I will say is, whatever has gone on, however low this has brought you, God will forgive you. You said that to me the other day. So why can't you forgive yourself? I mean, Ashley was no saint. But to have the intention to do better next time, surely that is enough for anyone, isn't it? Is that him? I'm, um... I'm gonna go for a walk, clear my head. And then I've got an appointment with a bottle of wine. What's blue and white? It stands in the corner of your kitchen. A fridge with a denim jacket on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is the worst one by a mile. Ah, it's not as chronic as some of yours. Oh! <laughs> Go on, Tracy, your turn. Oh, she doesn't do jokes. Well, I married you, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, shh, she's really funny. <laughs> really? He's always telling me I'm not funny. That's because I'm the funny one. You're the gorgeous one. Oh. Can't have it all. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you have both, mate. Oh, you ought to try living with her. <laughs> <laughs> right. Same again, another round? Yeah, come on, let's go. So, uh. Now he thinks you're funny, he's suddenly OK. Oh, well, maybe I got it wrong. It's harmless, really. <laughs> <sighs> Oi, check this out. Have you seen my dad on your travels? No, but I have taken a few pictures of Joe's diary. Thought maybe oh. we could do some... Right, well, cancel his meetings. It's the best you can come up with. Well, for now it is, yeah, but... You know what? Forget it. Find him? No. Probably lying low so I might get drunk. How did you get on? Yeah, she's having none of it. Babe, I did try, but everything I said, she came back at me. She's not gonna budge. I'm gonna have to ring her then. No, I'll give it up, kid. Take chunks out of each other like they've done for years, and it's hard to come back from. This is madness. Had the same idea? What's your excuse? <clears throat> yeah, I'll leave it to it. Are you here? Moira's leaving. You're just going to let her? <sighs> Look, I tried. I didn't go through all of that with you for us all to end up with nothing. It's a tough world out there. You two need each other. But if you're not up to it, fine. Go ahead and out stubborn her. Let's see you both throw away your chance. See if I can. Look, if you can counsel me, then this village is losing the best vicar they ever had. This job was the best thing to happen to us in years. We were on the up. Not that you care. I thought I heard raised voices. Can I help you? He wants his job back. I don't. I just came back from my gloves. Is Joe still around? Hello. Jimmy? I forgot my gloves when I resigned earlier. That's not what we rehearsed. I'm sorry, but it's not happening. I'm not pulling my resignation. Maybe you just need some more time to think about it. Now, he's thought about it, and the answer is he'd like to come back. Why can't you hear me? It's not worth it. You're not the one that people are taking pot shots at. Well, you might be, but your skin's so thick that it just bounces off oh, you. Oh, Jimmy, people are just jealous of us. They don't like seeing us get on. We've talked about this. OK, let's try something else. You're a good worker. And we don't like to lose good workers from the company. Do we, Graham? See? I think you could be very useful to us. And, as it happens, we need a new estate manager. He'll take it. He won't. Jimmy. Could even put some work your way on the haulage front. 
Talk about maybe relocating it to home farm if it all works out. How does that sound? I'm not sure. But he'll take it anyway. Let us know your rate of pay and uh, we'll see if we can do business. What? <laughs> out. Come here, you gorgeous oh. thing, you. Oh. Mm. Oh. Should leave Dad in charge more often. <laughs> On the next day, we should stay in, eh? Oh, I don't know. Quite enjoy myself. It can be quite funny, that feel. That feel is all right, you know, you just need to give him a chance. Yeah, it does go on a bit, though. I mean, I thought it was me, but it's well into you. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, speak of the devil, his just friend requested me. He hasn't me. <laughs> Deaf or gay? <laughs> you think that about every guy that don't fancy it? I do not. Thanks for showing me around. It certainly is a charming church. It's my pleasure. I hope you'll be very happy here. It's a lively parish. Keep you on your toes. Harriet. I was just showing Reese around his new parish. I take it you two have met at diocesan events. The ex-police officer. How could I forget? You've got a better memory than me. Lovely to meet you uh, again. You'll have to give me the rundown on your parishioners. Earn me a few brownie points, especially as I have such big boots to fill. Hmm. Do you mind if me and the bishop have five minutes in private? Go for it. Harriet, I don't think... I've made a massive mistake. I've just realised how much I love this parish, and I love these people, and I thought I wasn't good enough for them, but they made me see that I am. Only the decision isn't down to them, is it? Please. I know it's a mess, but I just want the chance to prove myself to you. It's too late, Harriet. I work so hard, and I This promise... can't be undone. Everything's in place. And quite frankly, even if it wasn't, I wouldn't be comfortable with you in this role. See. You've made me question your commitment one too many times. I'm grateful for the work you've done. But surely you can see this is a job for someone else now. And Reese is perfect. Yes, I guess he is. And uh, who wouldn't want perfect? I'm glad you understand.
It's one minute after five. Well, we've got the rest of our lives together, if you fancy it. I love you so much, it hurts. ending. Right, it's the height of summer and a pit stop to beautiful Santorini. Escape to the Mediterranean next on the cruise. Then at nine, Indiana State Prison's most infamous inmates await Trevor McDonald. Crime and punishment begins with new Death Row. <laughs>